see how fast this thing can go. This is the 43 mile per hour stealth bomber style Wild Coyote 5000 by Sahara Bikes. It comes with a 72 volt 40 amp hour battery with Sabaton 72100 sine wave controller to feed the 5000 watt 72 volt QS2053 teeth brushless hub motor. And if you don't know what that means, then join the club. Other features it has, triple bar LED that is extremely bright, front and rear hydraulic shocks, front and rear hydraulic brakes, and matching three millimeter thick rotors. The wheels are not comparable to three inch e-bikes. Instead, they have extremely thick, durable, and somewhat heavy dirt bike tires. It also has heavy duty spokes and yet at the same time it has a standard bicycle crankshaft. It has a standard bicycle chain and it has an e-bike style pedal assist. Moving towards the top it has a billet style handle. It has a push button light, electronic horn. The other side has a full handle throttle. For your brakes this uses conventional dot four brake fluid. Phone holder with charging port so you can charge while riding. Here's the charging port. You need the key for operation, power on. There is a full color display and loads of configurations you can do in the menu. So moving on from the bike parts, how does it feel like to ride the 5,000 watt stealth bomber styled wild coyote? Let's find out. All right, time to test this thing out. And it gives me a chance to escape this dungeon I call home. I'll tell you right off, it moves and it moves hard. Uh, it, it's not a, a super torque monster or anything like that. It's just that it has a lot of top end power. No one is around. Let's go take top speed. I take that back, it's too fast. And I don't think I could bunny hop this. I'm going to try to get up this curb just because uh, the wheels are so big. I'm just going to try to pull it up. All right. Of course, the grass. Now this is shaky because there's only so much you can do, right? <laughs> you can still bob up and down, but it's quite manageable, more than manageable. Yeah, look at this. Look at these road bumps. They're, the road is like totally trashed out right here. And I'm just going on the worst part. And dang, that's... I mean, I just love how discreet this thing is. It's just so quiet. And it sounds like the voice of a thousand men slowly dying inside. It's just so quiet. <laughs> All right, let's just see how fast this thing gains speed. Yeah, with these inside streets, you see, I, I can gain on cars. Well, thankfully, it's graduation season, and there's not that many people at schools, and I'm sure they don't mind that I'm riding inside of the school. Okay, well, let's just make a trail. It's a dirt bike, right? <laughs> it goes like 40. 40? Yeah, it's pretty fast. Because uh, I want to get the one, and he showed me the picture, a uh, 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 Segway. This, this is a Segway? Uh, no, no, this is just like a, this is a Wild Coyote. It's a, a brand in LA. Okay. I'm, I'm making a, a YouTube video for them. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So, so, so basically it's a custom bike then? Yeah, it's a custom bike. It, it, this one goes for like four thousand dollars ish the one the one he wants i think it goes for like six thousand five hundred bucks oh yeah it's yeah a it's way it's from Segway. oh yeah yeah okay yeah. those are hot bikes this is like the alternative to yeah, it yeah 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 <laughs> and you know the charger is right, like a right. fast charger too it's a really fast oh, charger for real? so so how many amps <laughs> or it's a 70 volt it's 72 volts 72 volts and how many amps the battery is like 40 amps 40 amps it's By gigantic oh, shit. it is gigantic you can go like 50 miles with it you could probably go 50 if you're like conserving Barely. no no you you can't you pedal this but it's not gonna go much if you're pushing this hard you, you'll still deplete it in like 
20 or 30 miles. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. Because if go, you, you go, get go, one of these. You throttle all the way. See, yeah, like, you, you get this thing, you want to throttle it right. because that's just the way it is. Right, right. If you just pedal, you're not going to get yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, hey, okay. man, have fun in yeah. that thing, bro. Good luck with your sales. All right, all right. So after some human interaction, I am here at the trail and I'm going to ride it. I'm going to ride it hard. Let's see how it goes. Dip, 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 dip. Whoa. Our next step is this jump or is this hill. Since the way paying attention, since everybody's at the graduation, I'm going to go over it really fast. I'm not going to jump because um, I'm balding and. Whoa. Holy crap. That was. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm getting a good feel for this. I mean, this thing is just, it's, it's insane. There's so much power and it just moves really fast and it's strong. And yeah, oh, do not disturb, do not disturb. And it is not my intention to uh, disturb the piece here. I'm just checking them out because that's what you do with the dirt bike, right? You go on adventures. Oh, look, there's baby geese, there's baby geese. Are they gonna get mad? Oh yeah, this guy is. Giving me the dirty look. Oh, look at these roots. Whoa. Whoa, is this supposed to be an obstacle? I think not. All right, yeah, so in true dirt bike fashion, you can just go through these without an issue. Now, what if you get stuck up this grade? This is the hill test because this is a really steep grade. Yeah, so if you get stuck on the bottom of this hill right here. All right, now we're gonna test the grade of this hill because I know this area is really steep, but it's hard to tell what it is. And this is a 17% grade. So this is not a long of a ride. However, if you get stuck at the bottom of this, good luck with the normal e-bike. It is really steep. You might not make it, but now we're gonna try it with the Wild Coyote 5000 watts. If we can't make it up this grade, we'll just have to turn around, right? Or just get some momentum. And that's about it, but it's kind of embarrassing if we can't. So let's pull. So around seven miles per hour at that 17. Oh, oh, whoa, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Settle down, buddy. I'm trying to go this way too. Yeah, 17% grade, eight miles an hour from a dead stop. All right, I am confident that this 5,000 watt e-bike will make it up this hill because, well, it's 5,000 watts, come on. 15% grade. Let's just see how fast I can get up the hill. And there's cars behind us. They're not gonna catch me because I am going 30 miles an hour uphill. And this is with the lower battery already. It's, I'm at 31% battery life. Yeah, this thing, 15% grade. 30 miles an hour up the hill, that's pretty insane. All right, it is time to do the brake test. All right, let's get going. And I'll be going around 30 miles an hour because anything else is kind of too slow, okay? So this is a big bike and it's stopping a lot of weight. And we're gonna see how well it stops all this weight. And getting to 30 is really fast. Okay, I'm, I'm already going 30, okay? So I'm not gonna go faster than that. And we are gonna break right here. As you can see, that was really good. This thing has big boy brakes. I mean, they are motorcycle-like brakes. They are big, they are thick, they are heavy, they are strong, and they do the job extremely well. Moving on, let's talk about the size of this bike. It is big. It is tall and it is heavier than my mother-in-law. It is 250 pounds. Compared to already large fat tire e-bikes, the Wild Coyote is absolutely massive. However, being bigger, being stronger, being taller does have its advantages, especially with the ladies, which I know absolutely nothing about. Bruh. And it is the vantage point you get being a short Asian. Now you've got height, 
you can stand on these pedals and you're really high. The other factor is that you've got a lot of clearance with a lot of travel from the shock so you can go on your merry adventures and not worry about getting stuck on a rock or stuck on a ledge or stuck on a step. All right, this is how power assist works. On level zero, nothing happens. But on level assist one, it kicks in a little bit of power, but it's only a little, okay? Two, three, four, and five, it gets quite violent. And this is only three, okay? I don't want to go faster than this. And if you hit the brakes, it cuts the engine. Going back for a bit, I want to talk about how someone would acquire one of these bikes. And of course, you could just go to the store itself and purchase one in Los Angeles. Or if you buy it online, you can get it in a crate like this. The Wild Coyote comes in 3000 watt flavor, 5000 watt flavor and 8000 watt flavor. The Stealth Bomber style bike comes with a massive 72 volt 5 amp hour charger, toolkit, light, mud guards, pedals, even conventional bike seat should you prefer that look and requires some assembly. So be sure to go over and tighten all items. Next up, let's talk about the range you can expect from this 5000 watt Wild Coyote. It comes with a 72 volt 40 amp hour battery, which is colossal. However, because you're going to be riding this hard, because you're going to be riding this on hills, off roading, and rough terrain. So I've got 25% left right now. And even though this is a gigantic battery, I mean, even if I have a quarter, you know, the quarter of the capacity, I probably still have like 800, <laughs> eight to 850 watt hours left however you know i'm not taking chances just because it's hit a certain threshold right and i just can't risk it because this thing once it runs out i mean how am i going to get back home right so it's time to head back and we'll check on the mileage if you're not aware as an e-bike rider there is range anxiety once you get towards the 20 percent margin you don't really want to go beyond that just because it might die out on you. Let's see, I have 23% left right here. And on this app, 17 miles on the odometer. So this thing up here, it says I've been 27 miles, but due to the inaccuracy of the wheel, I'm not really sure how accurate that can be because you know, I, I modified it to the 14 inch wheel, 17.1 miles and 42.8 miles per hour. So there you go with 23% left. That is going hard. That is doing all these tests, riding off road most of the time. That is just me trying to burn the heck out of this battery. But I'll tell you, this thing, uh, the, the feel of it is, is not what you expect from 5,000 watts. It's not on the low end, okay? So if, if you have like a mid-drive, you're gonna have power like a diesel truck, okay? And this is more like a turbo engine in that it, gets, it, it needs a little bit of spooling. It needs to speed up just a little bit and then it, it kicks in really hard. So if you're looking for like a wheelie monster, this probably isn't it but it is like a high speed bike i mean you f it feels very fast final thoughts this is a big e dirt bike and it's for people that have the need for speed adrenaline junkies people looking to tackle challenging terrain the bike's robust suspension system ensures a smooth ride for jumps bumps and control regardless of what you might encounter on the trail moreover the stealth bomber really lives up to its name it's darn near silent when riding, which is nice when you're trying to stay low profile. The Wild Coyote can definitely be tamed. And aside from the quick acceleration, the powerful brakes helps you stop when you're flying downhill or uphill for that matter. There are some drawbacks. The bike is quite large. The wheelbase is quite long and it is heavy. That said, 
because of the size, you can feel comfortable taking this e-bike at high speeds. The shock travel gives you exceptional comfort and the wheels are as grippy as an Obsessive X. <gasps> Additionally, the inclusion of safety features such as the effective lighting system and hand guards ensures that you won't cause too much damage on your off-road adventures. Overall, this stealth bomber with its 5,000 watt hub motor, 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery is all about speed, endurance, and simplicity. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. See you in the next one. Take care.